Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? T. Horton here. Oh, it's bright. It's so bright. I can fix that. I think I can fix it. Oh, there we go. Um, one person. That's all we need. Three. Hearts. Thumbs up. Ten people. Yes. Ten. Ten's good. Fourteen. Twenty-four. That's all good. Um, we're going to do some yoga this morning. What do you think of that? Forty-seven people. Here they come. Here they come. Forty-seven. I can't see that. Anyway. All right. Mrs. Horton's got her fancy tights on. Oh, it's going to be a good session. Fancy tights. Um, you guys hear that music? I got a little rock and roll this morning. Some requests. What is that? It's a hair. Um, to kind of, you know, I got some different kinds of rock and roll for yoga. Atypical. But we're going to get on it right now. All right. You ready, Mrs. Horton? Can you guys see us okay? I think we're in a good location here. No Kleenex, uh oh. Sean Alix, he's a leaker. <laughs> uh, how is everybody this morning? It's a beautiful day here in sunny Los Angeles. Um, everybody's out, which is stupid. I mean, I don't get that at all. But, uh, you know, I guess people want to get sick. That's the goal. And then that way they can, uh, they can give their blood to other people so they uh, can do better. I don't know, it's all very confusing. Oh, is that a Led Zeppelin song? What in the world is happening? Sean's got tissues. That's our lighting. It's a little bright. It's a little crazy. Whoa. All right, everybody. Um, we got 282. Let's do it. Mm. Well, typically, you know, we always want to set our intention. So, uh, it's another crazy week on planet Earth. And uh, I don't know what your intention is, but um, mine's going to be to enjoy the music. That's what it's going to be. Just go through the flow and enjoy some. We got Zeppelin. I got a little Police, some Sting. Uh, couldn't get the Who. Too too rock and rolly. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're funny. Kiss me before we start. Mm. We haven't kissed on the lips in like three weeks. <laughs> Great. That's TMI. <laughs> no, dude, that's coronavirus. Yeah, but you know, so why are we going? All right, I hope you guys can see us okay. Look at all the hearts over there. Yeah, let's kiss again. Let's get more hearts. Oh, let's see hearts. Let's see. All right. All right. Uh, hope that music is okay. Not too loud. I'm working with that. All right, I'm going to stand right here, nice and tall. Take some breaths. So should you, Sean. Same thing. You put your arms down. Get your feet uh, parallel with one another, ankles underneath your knees, underneath your hips, and hang out. Here we go. It is uh, 11.09. So be very careful. 
I'm even very careful myself going back there. Oh, so nice and easy, side to side, or all the way around. You'll know. You can even park your head in one place if you feel a little tightness there. That's what I'm doing. And then down for a bit. Mm. Yeah. All right, a couple more. Do your own thing, everybody. Sean's breathing, good work. All right, now everybody's chin on the chest, straight down, head up, roll the shoulders. Roll them, roll them, roll them. We're going back right now, back, back, back. Mm. Yes. We got a new location, we fucking face the other way. Make it interesting for everybody. And now forward, going forward. Mm. How many folks we got in there now? We got, we got 428 right now, it's not so bad. All right, forward and forward. And then hands in the front, you know the drill. Sean is leaking, she disappeared. In the back, clasp at your waist. Straighten the arms behind you as you can see, and then pull the arms away. Good work, nice. Now bring your out, outside part of your feet to the edge of the mat so you're a little pigeon toed. Reach those arms up. And now we're going to kick the hips left and go to our right and over. And up. And then other side over. Radio head. I got radio head. And then up. Now bring your feet right next to each other, right? Clasp the hands, palms to the sky. All right, and now same thing, but it's going to feel different, more intense. Now look up to the hands. Reaching, 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 and then out here, pelvis forward, pinkies back. back. You can look up, and then now hips to the right, arms to the left. This is my extraordinarily tight side. Oh my God! Reach up. Wide, arms are like goal posts, palms, forearms together, open, close, open, close, open, close, good. Now with your palms and forearms together, go up and down, up and down, up and down. As you can see, my elbows are not together. Sean's together pretty close, and down. Up, reach up, all the way down to prayer. Shake out your arms. Okay, everybody. In, uh, step back a little bit. Inhale, up. And now, flat back, exhale, hang down, hang down. Bend the knees here. Bend them, bend them, and hang out right here. With very bent. Knees, feet are fairly close together. And then don't look forward. Tuck the chin into the chest. Look straight at your knees. And then now, place your hands on your shins. Straighten your legs, flat back. Good. Bend the knees, hang down, look at your knees, chin on your chest. So just a breath or two here. Again, back up, hands on shins. Back is super flat here, legs are straight. Good. Bend the knees, hang down, look at your knees. Keeping your knees bent, rag bow up nice and slow. As you can see, a nice mellow beginning. Inhale up. Arch back. Hands to the prayer. Okay. <laughs> nice and grow. Feet are super, super wide, right in the front of your mat, or anywhere you want to be. All right, so uh, my feet are a good six, seven inches wider than my mat. So my legs are pretty wide here. Inhale up. Exhale, hang down. You can bend your knees here if you have lower back issues, but if you can keep them straight, do that. And now here, the old rock and roll. We know it, we love it, we do it. Fingertips on the ground, my legs are straight, back and forth, just like this. And then now I'm going to bend my right knee, turn my toe out into that side lunge. The other leg, the straight leg, I'm going to make sure the outside part of my foot is on the ground. I'm going to see if I can create some space between the floor and my arch, which for me, for Shauna, the part of truck. All right, I'm going to use my arm to push my knee out over my ankle so I feel that in my inner thigh. And then I'm going to turn into my runner stretch. 
hands on either side of my foot. Sean is probably off camera. Straighten the legs up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. Center. Side lunge. Same thing on this side. I feel like we should move back or something. Are we even on? You guys are going to see us. Alright, so here we are. Same thing. You can see I'm working. Let me that foot. Uh, working to get the outside part of that foot. Look at that microscopic space as if I actually had an arch. Again, here pushing the knee over the ankle, and now I'm going to turn on that runner stretch. So we're going to do the old straighten thing. Here we go. Straighten and down. Straighten and down. Is that Marvin Gaye? Straight and down. Come on, yoga and Marvin Gaye at the same time and down. That's good stuff. And straighten. Oh, that left calf ain't right yet. And straighten and center. Good work. Inhale. Wide legs. Back is flat. Fingertips just barely scraping the ground. Right? There's not a lot of weight in them. Take a big inhale. Engage your core. Back is flat. Crown and head towards you. Arms go straight out like an arrow plane. Good job. Using your core, eyes up, come straight up nice and slowly. Reach up, hands to prayer. Step to the front of your mat. Should we get back more? Maybe. Let's go back to the front. Stay Yeah! <laughs> Try to get away from her. Trying to get away from you. Trying to get away from her, huh? What? <laughs> Alright, boys and girls. So now here we are. Uh, our feet are wide like a duck, okay? And my ankles are wider than my hips. So right here, right now, I'm gonna just drop right down to a deep squat. A lot of you won't be able to keep your feet on the ground. That's no problem. You're from the balls of your feet because of ankle flexion issues. Don't let that bother you. So here we go. Straight down I go, down. Mm, now I got the elbows inside the knees. For a lot of you, this is gonna feel pretty intense, but if you can't do it, don't worry about it. You can see I'm rocking back and forth here. All right. Just opening up those hips, hands in prayer, using the elbows to open them up even more. A lot of you guys might be up on your toes because you can't do this with your ankles and don't sweat, all right? A couple breaths here. Do you even feel this? Nothing, right? Yeah. My wife is Gumby. She married the Tin Man. All right, breath or two more here, everybody. Hands on the ground, turn the feet square. All right, so knees are bent, we're gonna go down again, but our feet are in a different position. And this is gonna be even more difficult for some. So my triceps are on my knees, my feet are about shoulder width or wider apart. All right, a lot of you guys are like, holy smokes, man, this is killing. But we're just sort of, where do you feel this? I don't, I don't feel it really, but some people do. Where do you feel it? Ankles and a low back. Oh, okay, all right, let's take a breath or two here. All right, so hands on the ground, slowly come up, straighten the legs, inhale, flat back, hands on shins, exhale down, reverse that swan dive all the way up, reach up, hands to prayer. Okay, so now, feet are close to each other, we're going to step back with the right leg, and drop on the right knee, just like this, back and down. So, whoa, Tony's falling over, he's drunk, I'm drunk in the morning. That vodka tonic this morning. So right here, right, so what's that? Every Saturday. Every Saturday morning. I'm just <laughs> wasted. Alright, so now I'm gonna lean forward. You guys see this little move here? I'm gonna adjust this front foot so that my knee's still over my ankle. So I'm getting that back quad. You guys got that? Just hanging out. And you can see this is starting out mellow, it won't, it won't last that way, but. And if you don't feel anything, really let gravity do its thing. Really let that your torso, your whole body move forward. Good, and then come back. And now from here, straighten your left leg. Let's work on those hamstrings and calves a little bit here. Now hopefully, if, if this is killing your back knee, then get a towel, get a pillow, run away, get something soft you can put your knee on. All right, so now I'm working on this hamstring a little bit, hanging down, I get a cramp in my back toe. Just hanging out here, toes up, dorsiflexing this foot. And breathing my way through it. All 
right? No grimace, no furrowing over the brow, no crazy face, no mashing of the teeth, of course. Good work. Nice. Release that leg, get the other one forward. What are you laughing at? You'll see later. Why? What did I do? Oh. Alright, something that I did or you did? Yeah, I'm just making funny back here and then you'll see it all when you watch it. Oh, great! Nice! Keep my eye on you, woman. Alright, so we're pushing forward here. Again, same thing. Knees over the ankle, working on this back quad. Hip flexor, really, a little higher. Arches. Almost fell over. All right, breath or two here more. And then come on back, straighten that front leg. You don't want to rush this here. It's early in the morning. Probably not for a lot of you. Um, it's early in the session. Again, just kind of working this out. I feel this at the top of my hand. Where do you feel this? This is H. Oh, there. Look here, lower by the knee. I feel that here about the buttocks. All right, a couple more, everybody. Now we'll get rolling. Can you dorsal flex your foot more like this? Yeah, Bob. That chain there? Well, I guess I can help it. Yeah, no. All right, so we're going to release that leg. <laughs> knees, hands, and knees. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale up. Exhale other way, Halloween cat right here, thoracic spine tall, looking between your legs, engaging your belly, arms as straight as you can get them. Other way, here's your dog, or cow. Mm, trying to find the ceiling with my eyes, belly button rib cage down, booty goes up, exhale. And then neutral spine, walk the hands maybe four or five inches from the front of the mat. You know what to do. It's called downward dog, and we're in. Woo! Downward dog. So I'm downward dog. You know, I'm working to get my arms straight, which is really hard for me. Leg straight, arm straight, nodding as close to the mat as possible. Heels as close to the ground. So how's my playlist so far, Mrs. H? Better than we thought it was going to be. See? You thought I was going to play some headbanging crazy. I don't know what I thought. You got to trust the man. No trust. Trust, trust, trust. Nope. All right, everybody. So here I am working on this little move right here. Now I'm going to bring the shoulders over the wrist and into the top of the push-up. And then you're going to feel a change in intensity just by doing this. Okay? So here we are. We're playing eyes to the elbow, the inside the elbow toward you. I'm working on that. Fingers are spread. A lot of space between the fingers. Index fingers are parallel with one another, driving the heels back. And now I'm going to tilt the pelvis toward you, and you can do the same for me. All right, we're just holding this intensity, this isometric plank. And then take a big inhale, exhale back to downward. Good. So, arms, working on straighten those things, trying to get the heels as close as possible. Now we're going to pedal the feet. First, the right one. Then the left one, hard to keep my arms straight when I pedal, and now back to the right, back to the left, one more to the right, one more to the left, both heels down, try to create that triangle, straight line from your wrists, past your shoulders, to your butt, butt down your heels. Bend the knees, walk the feet into the hands. Feel that relief right there? That's where the relief is. Inhale halfway. Try to really, if you can't flatten the back, try to arch it, then it'll probably look flat. Exhale, hang all the way down. Bend the knees, rag doll up first time. Reach out, reach up, reach back. Hands for prayer. That was sort of the Begin with heat, a little bit of heat. 11.26, we started at a little, we started at what time? We started at, uh... oh yeah. No, 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 no. So we'll do a salutation or two, really basic, and then we'll get into some other fun stuff. How are we all doing? Uh -huh. 
Down to 315. We lost some folks. They said, the heck with you, Tony. I'm out, pal. Tell a joke or something. Make it interesting. You got that one, though. On your request. Inhale up. Arch back. Exhale, flat back. Eyes up. Hang all the way down. Inhale up halfway. You can reach fingertips to the floor or hands on shins, whatever feels safe. Place the hands on the ground. Now step back first time to the plank. So chaturanga, everybody. Down, upward dog. So an upward dog, let's check that out. So shoulders are back, head is up. Chest is out. Right, space between the fingers. Trying to put a little bit of weight on my thumbs, so try that. If you're really good at this, you can lift your pinkies up, but I can't do that. Look to your right. It's hard. It means you gotta turn it in. And now look to your left. Really upgrade your upward dog here for a second. Get up on the balls of those feet and push into downward. Mm. Now, bring your feet pretty close together. They don't have to be right next to each other. And now, slowly float that right heel up to the sky. High, high as you can get it. High as you can get it. Shoulders over the wrist. Bring the knee into the chest. Place the foot between the hands. Turn the back foot down. Come on up. That back foot needs to be at an angle so you can take your left hand and drive that left hip square. So you're taking the right hand, pulling the right hip back, and left hand pushing it forward. Chest is up, getting that nice angle with that back foot, reaching forward with the left arm, straight up with the right. And then now, I'm going to work on my depth here a little bit. Wherever I can handle. Add the other arm straight up. Now bring the palms together, right? Clasp the hands except for those index fingers and then squeeze your noggin if you can. Drop a little bit lower, a little, a little bit lower. This two shall pass. So reach higher, drop lower. Is that another Marvin Gaye song? Lower, higher, hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, go through that vinyasa upward dog. Man, listen to that song. <laughs> you can do a push up here. You don't have to. Downward dog. Mm. Mm. Left foot high, high, high. High, high, high. Trying to get arms straight. Higher, get higher. Higher. Shoulders over the wrist, bring the knee into the chest, place the foot between the hands, turn the back foot down. Working on that angle, that back foot. So the back foot here, in Warrior One, is in a different position than it would be if you're in Warrior Two. A lot of folks still don't know that, right? So if the back foot, the toes of the back foot are going off on an angle like this, I can now get my head square. Squarer. <laughs> right arm forward. Left arm up. So now I'm playing around with that back foot, making sure the knee is over that ankle. I'm going to add the right arm for a moment, and then I'm going to do my claspy thing again and squeeze my knob. <sighs> And now, chest up, fingers higher, knee bent more. There's a lot of intensity here because I'm a tin man. Reaching, reaching, dropping, reaching, dropping, reaching. Hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Back foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dogger. <clears throat> push up, or you can skip the push up down the dog. Now here we are in downward dog, so you can stay here if you like. I'm happy, Tony. And remember, if you don't even want to do this, you can go to child's pose. It looks like this if you want to do it, right? That is your option. Shauna took that option. <laughs> Everybody else knows. Helping me demonstrate. <laughs> Thank you. Double demonstration. You don't get that every day. All right, so arms are straight. Now here, you can stay here, or right hand reaches back behind the knee behind the calf, or all the way down there by the ankle. 
And if you like, you can look up underneath that left armpit to the ceiling. Is this more intense? Of course it is. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Good. Release that side. Back to downward dog. You can stay here, of course, or go to child's pose, or reach back. Calf, whatever you want to do. Shauna is opting for the downward dog. She's doing what she wants to do, and that's very wise. I'm going to look underneath my right shoulder, armpit. Nice, oops. And release. Back to downward dog. Bring the feet together. Right leg goes up. As high as you can get it, as high as you can get it. And now shoulder the wrist, bring the knee into the chest. Place the foot down, stay in the ball of the back foot. Back leg is straight, come on up. Chest is up. Adjust the shirt. Arms out, palms up, everybody, first. So as you can see, my arms are relatively straight. Let's see if I can maintain that as I reach for the sky, scraping the walls, reaching, reaching in crescent pose. Hands to prayer, straight the front leg. Back to crescent. That's one of three. Hands to prayer, straight the front leg. Both legs are straight. That is two of three. Arms go up. Reaching, reaching. Again, prayer, straighten that front leg, working on my balance. And then back to crescent, reaching, reaching, hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Go through that vinyasa, any version you want. Uh, ankles are killing me today. Ooh, wake them up, downward dog. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, new side, here we go. Float that left heel into the sky. Get some height. As you can, shoulder to the wrist, knee to the chest. Grab that leg if you have to. I'm staying in the ball of the back foot. Come on up. So, arms are out. Straight as I can get them, reaching for the sky. Tall, 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 bending that front knee a lot. Hands of prayer, straighten that leg. And then back to crescent. And then back to straightening that front leg. Woo. Working on that balance right now, baby. That's two out of three. And then again, straight both legs. Core is tight. And back to crescent. Is that three? I think that was three. <laughs> hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Foot goes back. Shut the ring the noose high. In up for dog. And a push up. Downward dog. Mm. All right, here we are. Make it pretty. Bend the knees. You can jump this time. You don't have to. Or you can step up to the front of the mat. Well done. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Reverse that swan dive all the way up. Arch back. How was that? Not so bad, but it's all right. You're losing your ponytail there? Just a touch. How's the music? Good, right? 98% of it. What? 110. Come on. It's a beautiful day here. It's been raining. It rained six days in a row in LA. I think since the worldwide pandemic, LA is now Seattle, and Seattle is the North Pole. I don't know if that. But uh, here's what's kind of cool. You know, there's no traffic, right? All this rain and wind, too. LA was rated highest quality air in the world last week. Highest in the world. What? We can see. How far is Long Beach? We can see Long Beach, which is 32 miles from here. From our house. <laughs> With your eyes. With your, with your eyeballs. My bad eyes. No binoculars. Crazy. I know. 
You can see LAX. You can see just planes and everything. We get a just get a zip line going right now. Inhale, both those up. Up, chatter. Arch back. Down, chat it. Exhale, hang all the way down. Oh. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Step, or you can jump back this time if you want. You can be technical with a floater and not so floaty, but not so terrible. Upward dog. Push up, or no push up. Here comes some intensity. You guys know what this is. You love it, you love it. Right leg goes up. Point the right knee to the sky. Some of you are going to stay right here. Others are going to flip over. I'm going to do that. I'm going to flip over, flip over. and reach, reach over toward you. Just like that. So reach toward the camera, Mama, toward the phone there. You guys don't have to do that. You can stay there just with the bent knee. Hanging out, reaching. Come on back. Foot goes to the sky. Right knee, shoulder to the wrist. Left elbow. It's intensity time, and then leg goes up. Yeah, but it started out so mellow. This time, knee to the forehead or the nose, whatever you can do. Bring it in. Back up. Nice and high. Nice and high. Right knee, right elbow. You can go for the balance. If you want, you don't have to. Foot goes back up, 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 up. Shoulder to the wrist, foot goes up. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. Gonna go for the noggin squeeze. Oh, I feel that leg relax. From here, I'm gonna adjust my back foot. Warrior two. Knee over angle, back leg straight. Reaching behind me. Right, I'm not leaning forward. I'm actually reaching back. Right arm forward, look over those fingertips. Turn the palms up. Thumbs back. You all right? so tight. <laughs> I know. All the work I'm just doing. It is what it is, but we're here. Turn the palms back down. Straighten the front leg. Reach out. Then you your friend. Triangle pose. So, Hand on the lower leg or reaching inward fingertips. But remember, you want to keep your chest open here. So I'm going to stay high. My arm is smooth. My chest is open, open, reaching up. If you want to exaggerate this just a hair, instead of reaching up, reach back. Add another five, six inches this way. That'll open things up. All right, are we ready? We're gonna keep the legs and arms straight and come back up. Use your core and your breath, and up we go. Bend the knee. See all that? We're gonna do it again. Adjusting the back foot, and then up to warrior one. Gonna go for a noggin squeeze. Your hands to prayer, go to your vinyasa. Upward dog, I will do my push. You do not have to. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's always true. Here we go. We're going to do that flip over thing. You ready? New side. You don't have to, of course, float the left heel skyward. A lot of you will stay right here. That's enough, Tony. Others flipping over. Reaching back. Mm. Ramble on. Breath or two here. Flip it back over. Leg goes back up. Shoulder to the wrist. Here comes that left knee to the right elbow. Move. Core, core, core. Foot goes back up. Shoulder to the wrist. Knee to forehead or nose or wherever. Back up. Mm -hmm. Left knee, left elbow, balance if you want to. <clears throat> when it goes all the way back up, shoulder to the wrist, foot between the hands, turn the back foot down. Oh yes, little tiny beads of sweat. 
Arms up, arms up, reaching, warrior one. Noggin squeeze. Oh. Opening up to warrior two. Adjusting that back foot. Watching out for this, trying to get that knee over the ankle. Reaching back and forward at the same time. So don't do this, do this. Shoulders and hips parallel. Palms to the sky. Palm thumbs behind you. Lovely and lovely. Good. Palms down. Straight the front leg. Reach. Reach, reach, reach. Triangle pose. And looking up. Same thing on this side. If you're reaching toward the sky, you want to feel a little bit something else, a little bonus, then add six inches back. Open up that chest, feel that extra stretch. Back, back, back. Oh, right back to warrior two. Adjust the back foot. Warrior one. Head squeezer. Dropping, dropping, hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, we're dog o -gabbing. Push up or not, downward dog. All right, everybody, you can add a little bit more intensity before we come all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna get a break. But we're gonna do this first, and this is what this is. Are we ready? Sure. Plank. Raise the right leg as high as you can. Keep it up, chaturanga. Keep it up, bring it down, upper dog. Isn't that fun? Here's another push up or skip it. Downward dog. Great comes after this one, downward dog. Left leg up. Keep it as high as you can as you come to plank. Keep it up, it stays up. You go to chaturanga, it stays up, down, upward dog. Here's a push up or skip it. Downward dog. Mm, make it pretty. Arms as straight as you can get them, legs as straight as you can get them. Head as close to the mat as you can. Drive and bend the knees. Jump or walk. So, big toes, ankles, knees, hanging down. Rib cage and thighs are touching. Drift back, lift your toes, lift your toes, chair pose. <sighs> lift your toes, chair pose. Here in chair pose with your toes lifted, palms together, squeeze the noggin. And now point to the sky. Stand up, arch back, hands in prayer. Listen to that song, man. That's good. It's a good one. Well, for Abbey Road. Yeah. I grew up with this music, boy. I was a wee lad. I'm still a wee lad. Are we ready, Mama? Sure. Inhale up. Exhale, hang down. From here, hanging down, you're going to bend your knees and go straight to chair pose, chair pose. Hang down. Look at your knees, legs are straight, arms are straight. We're going to do that two more times so you know what's coming. Are we ready? Bend the knees. You can lift your toes here if you want. Chair pose. And then hang down. Since we're not in chair pose very long, you can really work on making it as pretty as possible. Legs are straight. Looking at my knees. Arms are straight. Here we go again. Put the weight in your heels. Lift your toes. Chair pose. Oh, my thoracic upper back. And then hang down. Straighten those legs. Inhale halfway. Mm, exhale down. Hands on the ground. Step or jump. 
If you're gonna jump back, it's chaturanga. If you're gonna step back, it's plank, everybody. So, chaturanga, upward dog. Push up, down dog. Float the right heel up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Shoulders over the wrist, bring it all the way in. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one to start. Sweating has begun. Warrior one. Warrior two. Mm. Okay, so we're all in warrior two. Let's turn the palms up again. You feel that different, that rotation of the shoulders? It feels kind of nice. Very, very nice. So you're here, right? Palms are up in warrior two. Keep the right palm up, the one that's forward. Turn the left palm down. Bend that right knee. Reverse warrior. Looking up to that hand. So here, see if you can bend the front knee more, 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 and now straighten it. And reach up. Lovely. And now, bend that front knee again. Back to warrior two. Reach out, out, out. Start with your forearm on your thigh and reach straight up. Okay, a lot of you want to stay right here. Tony, thank you very much. I don't need more than this. Others will drop the hand to the outside of the foot, right? And then reach overhead. Some of you will stay here. Others will wrap. Mm. Clasping those hands, opening up the chest and looking skyward. We're not going to be here long. Got to bend the hell out of that front knee. One or two more breaths. Haven't done a wrap in a couple of weeks. Good work. Can you come straight up to warrior two from there? Woohoo! Yippee-yay, straight the front leg. Drop the arms. Mm -hmm. What? What? You were glad I was doing this, right? This part here? Yep. Who's your buddy? Arms back out. Bend the front knee, warrior two. It's another reverse warrior. Oh, reaching overhead, reaching overhead, reaching overhead, overhead. Keep that front knee bent, bent, bent. Warrior two again. Adjust the back foot. Warrior one. Do the noggin crusher. Hands of prayer. Go through that. Yes. Push up or not. Upward dog for sure. Another push up. Downward dog. I think I can remember that whole thing on the other side. I think I can. Let's float that left heel. High, 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 high. Shoulder of the wrist, bring it through. Place it between the hands. Turn the back foot down. Sweating now. Warrior one. Noggin crusher. 31 minutes in. Oh, yeah. I was hoping you were going to say 41. <laughs> Good. Open up warrior two, everybody. All right, warrior two. Good times. Turn the palms skyward. All right, back leg straight. The back side of my foot, yeah, whoa. Outside of my foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Now here we are, front knee bent. I'm trying to avoid this. It's hard. Good. This palm stays up, right palm turns down. Reverse warrior, everybody. Bending that front knee a lot. Bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it. Straighten it. Oh, it's good. And reach, extend. Beautiful. Right, both legs are straight here. Not a lot of pressure on this back leg with that hand. Reaching overhead. And then from here, we're just gonna go right to warrior two. Now, reaching forward, 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 left arm, left thigh, reaching toward the sky, right here. Some of you are fine, Tony, on this is intense enough. All right, others, you're going to drop that hand to the outside of the foot, and then you're going to reach overhead. All right, this is deeper, more intense, more muscle recruitment. Looking up at that hand. 
Come on. That's a great play to play with. Honey, reach overhead this way. Can you do that? It's over your shoulder. Yeah. Now the wrap if you want to wrap it up. So, arm reaches under thigh, grabbing the fingertips or wrist and opening up toward the sky. This is intense, boys and girls. Skip it if you want to. Remember, we're going to come straight up to Warrior Two from here, which is crazy intense. You got to push off that front leg. We're going to do it in one more breath. And here it is. Mrs. H. Good. Nice. We know what's going to happen here. It's another reverse warrior. You thought I'd forget, huh? I did. Actually. Make it pretty. Warrior two, adjust that back foot. Warrior one. Mm, do a head squeezer. Hands in prayer. All the way front thighs up. Fire! And then push up. Upward dog. Try the wrong as we know it. Another push up. You can skip it. Of course. Downward dog. So, right here, downward dog. We're gonna hold this for just a brief moment and make it pretty, 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 pretty. Drop the knees, hands underneath the shoulders, separate the knees, big toes together, child's pose. That's good. I will tell you that this right here is the calm before the storm because the storm is coming right after this. So I don't want you to judge it. I don't want you to try to anticipate what you think it's going to be. Something about doing your best and forgetting the rest, I think, is the best philosophy. No. Sean, who, who, who's, who plays this song? Who is this? Do you know? This is... You two albatross. You two albatross. Mrs. H in the house. That is beautiful. All right, so we're back up to our hands and knees. All right, it's a little respite here before we get sort of intense again. This will be intense as well. So we're going to kick the left foot back, parallel to the ground, legs parallel to the ground, dorsal flex that foot. Right arm goes forward. And then now, see how much height you can get out of the thumb and the heel. Height, 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 height out of both. And now when you're high, reach out with the arm, reach out to the side of the leg. Kick me in the butt, Cox. All right, another breath here. Back to center. Thumb goes up, heel goes up. Now reach back, grab the ankle, and now use the leg to open up the chest, open up the shoulder, drive that heel to the sky, dorsal flexing. This might be hard for a lot of folks who don't have the flexibility. Don't sweat it, you can just be reaching forward and back. With your arm and your leg. Height, 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 height. More height, more height. Release, reach out, hand down, leg down, arch the back. Exhale. <laughs> I heard you whisper that. Chin to chest, round out the spine. Send subliminal messages. Uh, I heard that one. Nothing subliminal about that one. Good. Neutral spine. Are we ready? Right leg goes back. Parallel to the ground, left arm parallel to the ground. Now heel higher, thumb higher. Higher, 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 higher. Arm goes out, leg goes out. There's my foot. I'm not so good at this. One more breath. Leg back, arm forward. Thumb high, thumb high, heel high. Grab the ankle. Go for that gorgeous stretch right there. I'm sure you're a king in my face in the back of the chicken. <laughs> you guys see the dance party? Call a chicken in the face. <laughs> and then Teddy today. Oh! <laughs> Peanut. <on. laughs> right there, in the kitchen. Just lift it like up. I hope he hadn't done that before Tony got a uh, chicken in the face. <laughs> Arm out, leg out, hand down, leg down, arch up. Round <laughs> the So say that you like. Hey. Neutral spine, walk the hands close to the front of the mat. All right, here comes two sidearm balances. See, so no mystery. All right, everybody, let's go downward dog first. Now 
we're up first. Oh yeah. So shoulders over the wrists, right arm down, right below your nose. You can stack the feet, stagger, or you can raise the leg. This arm goes up. I think I'm gonna try to raise the leg today. Raising the leg today.65 people. <laughs> She's tough. She's tough. I'll tell you. But I do love her to death. Inhale, both those arms up. Exhale, hang all the way out. Inhale, halfway. Step or float yourself back. Chaturanga. I mean, uh, yeah, chaturanga or plank. Upward dog, everybody. <clears throat> I'll do my push up. Downward dog. You should do it for me, too. You can do push up for you, too. Yeah. All right, I'll do one for you next time. Here we are. Let's float that right heel up nice and high. Really high, high, high. Swing it all the way through. <sighs> Turn the back foot down. It is your pal, Warrior One. <clears throat> Open up, Warrior Two. Straighten the leg, triangle pose. Warrior One. Two, triangle pose. Good work, boys and girls. Hanging out here for a second. We're gonna bend the knee, come back up into warrior two. Now we're gonna reach out, reach out. Fingertips near the toes. It is your half moon, because you love it. Both legs are straight if you can. All five fingertips on the ground if you can. Arm up, back leg is straight, foot is dorsiflexed, and reaching up. I don't know, I don't know why people would skip yoga because it's hard as hell. It does everything, especially patience. All right, you keep that foot up, both hands on the ground, back leg is straight. We got reverse half moon, reverse half moon. Pretty intense. Reaching up, open up that chest. One more breath. Hands down, standing splits. Mine do not look like splits. You can watch Shauna. Both hands can stay on the ground, that's fine. Or you can grab the back ankle, pull yourself in. If you can do it with two hands, good for you. I have vestibular hypofunction. Not gonna happen. But I'm trying to work on that back leg. Good. Release. Bring that leg in. Max feet hanging out. Inhale halfway. 
Good. Exhale, hang down. Reverse all the way up. Arch back. Hands to prayer. Just a beat. Inhale up. Arch back. Exhale, hang down. Inhale halfway. Hang all the way down. You can step or jump back. You know what to do. Upward dog. Almost there. Push up if you want. Downward dog. Float that left heel nice and high. Heading home, boys and girls. Swing it all the way through. Turn the back foot down. It is warrior one. Warrior number one. Mm -mm. Warrior number two. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Straighten the front leg. Reach out. Triangle. Reaching toward the sky. Open that thing up, up, up. That's too far up. But there goes Tony on his ass. From here, arms straight. Warrior two. Reach out. Hit your pal half moon. All the way up. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Reaching up, looking up. Left leg doesn't know what to do, so to figure it out. Reaching, reaching, looking, breathing, everybody. Mm. Nicely done. Switch, other side. Reverse, half moon. You thought I'd forget it. I did not. Leg is straight, reaching up, back to tense. Very. Trying to keep that back leg parallel to the ground. I don't know if I'm doing it. I'm probably not. Reaching up. Thanks, honey. I love you. Good. Enough of that. Hand down. Standing splits. Open and get that leg as high as I can. Shauna's. Oh. Tighter side for you. Oh. Reach behind that leg if you want to. And then, match feet, hang down. From here, your hands on the ground, your feet on the ground, you're gonna step back. All right, everybody? And from here, your feet aren't super wide apart because we're gonna do a reverse triangle, all right? So if your leg's too far back, it's gonna make it harder. You wanna be able to keep your hips square. So from here, you have multiple options. Hands on the inside of the foot or the outside, which is much more difficult, all right? This back foot has to be in sort of that warrior one position. Hips are square. Here comes that reverse triangle reaching up. Where do you feel that toe? I feel that in my right leg from mid-calf into my IT band, into my lower back and glute. Hang out, reaching, reaching, and now hang down over that leg. Just like that, boys and girls. If you want, come up for a second. Clasp the hands. Arms are straight. Pop close the shoulder. And then back down we go. Oh, that's so intense for me. Couple breaths here. Don't do it on if it hurts, you know. Oh, that's tight. Release the hands, step the feet together. Shake out that leg, it was just brutalized. Oh, good. Now the brutalized leg, that one goes back. The legs are straight. Here comes our reverse triangle on this side. Hand on the inside or outside. Outside is harder. I'm picking the inside. Maybe next week I go outside. And then to raise your arm to get it straight, start going backwards. And then open it up. Mm. Oh. So many things are happening right now. Gotta breathe. No grimacing, no burrowing. 
smiling? I am, thanks to you. <laughs> Reaching, one more breath. And release, hang over that leg. Legs are straight, pretty intense stretch here. And again, you come up to start this one. Clasp the hands. Clasp the hands differently this time. Arms go back. Down we go. I like to start with bent knees first so I can work on my shoulders. Right? And then I try to straighten them out. Ooh. A couple more breaths here. Mm -hmm. And release. Match feet. Shake out that pulverized left leg. Yippee-i-a. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, hang down. Reverse this one back all the way out. Oh my gosh, 1207. We have two minutes. Got that. I guess I gotta wrap it up. I made that a little longer than I wanted to. Alright? So, let's go right into downward dog into pigeon. Here we go. Inhale, exhale down. Careful, Kira, if you're watching. <laughs> Inhale, pigeon exhale. broke her last week. Oh, it did? Uh oh, exhale down. All right, step or float back to chaturanga or plank. Upward dog. Oh. No push up for me, right to downward dog. Float that right heel up, 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 up. Bring the right ankle toward the left hand. Make sure the knee is outside of your torso. All right, you want to scoot back. You're just basically trying to lay down onto your lower leg. Some of your heels are going to be you know, way back underneath your pelvis. So the other ones that your hand's gonna, your foot's actually gonna be near your hand. That ain't me. This is ace is pretty close. All right, so check behind you. Make sure that the top of your foot is on the mat and that your back leg is almost in the center of the mat. Your knee is way outside, so a lot of you are gonna be up here. This is it. You're like, I have to step here, dude. So if you have any knee pain whatsoever, don't come down, make adjustments. All right, you don't, shouldn't feel anything here. You should feel it back up in here in your boot. And if your hip is way up, see if you can get your hips square. Uh oh, cramp. Cramp in that back foot. So this requires some adjusting. We're going to be here for a bit. We're going to be more than an hour. I hope that's okay, about an hour or ten. You feel all right with that, you guys? I'm walking at an hour. What? I'm walking at an hour. Are you out? No, don't leave me. This is it. What week? Is this week four for us doing this? Week four. So we've done yoga four times. We did that one cardio. We didn't do that one again. We've done four plyos and three dance parties. Not too bad. All right, everybody. Now you go a little bit lower. A couple more breaths here. One more breath.
All right, come on up. Have a seat. Three core moves, only three. 20 reps each. I'm soaking wet. Of course, we're gonna start with Yogi Bicycle. All right, then we'll do toe reaches and we gotta finish with Mr. Scotty Go Campaign Pfeiffer Scissors, of course. Are we ready? Let's do our Yogi Bicycles. Each combination right and left is a rep. You're not looking at my, my crotch. Here we go. Pointing my toes. So not dorsal flexing, plantar flexing. Right elbow, left knee, medium speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big range of motion. Seven, make contact. Eight, if you can. Nine, ten, right there. One, two, three, four. Are you ready? 20, no delay, toes up, reach. One, two, no breaks today. Three, four, get them up. Five, let's just straight. Six, seven, high as you can. Eight, nine, more than Marvin Gaye. 10, 10 more. One, two, good job, mama. Three, protect your head. Four, chin to the chest, everybody. 15, 16, get up. 17, get up. 18, 19, 20. Fight for scissors, two varieties. Sit out on your hands or reach forward. I'm going to reach. One, two, three, four, five. We need to do this, do it. Six, seven, eight. No break, it sucks, huh? Nine, <laughs> ten, ten. Count that with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, yippee-yay, two and hold, two and hold, two and hold, two and hold, one and hold, 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 knees in. Oh. Hopefully you're on a soft floor, bring your chin to your chest and your forehead to your knees, make contact, dorsiflex the feet, keep your chin in and roll. If this feels funky, don't do it. This my back just loves this. Sean's gonna pass. She's wise. Last roll. Come on up. Straighten the right leg. Left foot goes inside. All right, here's our first final twist. Left hand outside of thigh, right hand behind. All right, crown ahead tall. I'm gonna push. Use this hand for leverage. Probably in two breaths, I'll be able to get a full at 180. Here's the first one. Exhale. I got pretty far. All right, let's do another one. Get all the way around. And then look behind you. Stay there. Keep tall. Wow, that's usually really hard, but not so bad today. And now, right hand pushes. Left hand goes down the leg, down the leg, down the leg, down the leg. Maybe you're going to stop here at your Achilles or ankle. I'm going to go for the outside of the foot, whatever you can do. Right hand releases. I'm going to raise my knee up, 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 up. Right, now I've got that foot, now I'm gonna push the knee down. Here comes that 10 count. One, two, head and crown. Your nose is going this way, not down, out. Three, four, it's gonna go down a little bit. Four, five, six, seven. See the elbows coming apart? Eight, nine, 10. Hold your ground for five, four, go lower if you still have some more. Three, two, and release. All right, side, left one out. Almost done, kids. Right hand outside of the left thigh. Nice and tall here, hand behind you. Using this hand for leverage, inhale first. Let's see how far I get around on the first one here. And let it out. Yeah, this side's a little tighter. I'm gonna stay where I ended up. One more, inhale big. I'm gonna push. Ooh, something popped. Hopefully that's a good thing. Holding tall, 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 tall. Now left hand pushes, right hand down, down, down that leg. Wherever you land is where you land. So if you don't want to force it here, I can get to my foot because I have long arms and short legs. That's really the truth. Releasing this hand. I'm going to raise the knee up so I've got this foot pretty good. Now I'm going to push it down. 10, 9, 8, 7. There's the who. 6, 5, the who. 
four, three, I don't know number. Two, wherever you are, hold your ground, five, four, three, two, and release, everybody. On your backs, almost there. Pull that right knee down and then out. Head on the ground. Dorsal flex those feet, both those feet. Oh, pull, pull, pull. If you're flexible, you can wrap it up with your arms. And why not? And release, new side. Dorsal flexing the feet there too. Wrap it up if you can. So you're trying to get the quad, the top of the thigh, outside of your torso so you get more range of motion, more stretch here in your glute and in your hammy. And now both, pull them both in and let's make those circles. Around we go. Around we go. Do it slowly. It's more effective if you go slow. Lead. Around we go. And now, hey, let's go the other way. Nice and slowly. Feel the outer ridges. Those hips. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Good. Now, knees, ankles, everything together. Push your legs out. So now you've got these 90 degree angles. You guys see them? Here. 90, 90, 90, 90, right? Arms out, legs to the right, eyes to the left. You can put your right hand on top of your left thigh. Oh my God. Okay, right? My legs down and my arm down right away. This yoga thing works. It's working. It's working. It's working. That's the really cool thing about yoga, boys and girls. Every once in a while, if you're consistent, and only if you're consistent, you'll notice these bizarre differences in your flexibility and your strength and your balance that you've never had in your entire life. But if you're not consistent, then it's just a great big pain in the butt. All right, new side. I don't know about this side. Oh, no, not as good on this side. That's it. I'm not going to judge it. Flipping over, everybody. New side. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Woodwork. Woodwork? Our woodwork? Our woodwork. Hey, so it's good upside down, isn't it? Upside down, What thing? Let's put it upside down. That's, I know, that makes me think. All right, I gotta breathe this side to side, not as flexible, so I gotta work but I'm closer than I normally am, which is nice. And now it's down. It is a miracle. Boys and girls, it's Shavasana. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Legs are straight, arms are straight, palms up on the pages of the book. And all you gotta do is close your eyes and breathe and not think. No thinking. Thinking can be done afterwards. I don't know if I know how to turn the music off without losing the whole thing. I didn't think of that. I can take over with my phone and turn it off. Okay. Is it on? Oh, you're good. You're a good person. <laughs> I can say that again. You're a good person. <laughs> All right, everybody, just chill and relax and feel the weight of your body on the floor. All those contact points your heels, your calves, your glutes. Your elbows, your mid-back, your head, your shoulders. Just feel that and breathe and try to keep your head clear.
All right, everybody, take a great big inhale, and we're going to hold it for just 20 seconds. No big thing. I'm going to count to 10 twice. You can do it too. It'll probably be about 20 seconds. Inhale big, and hold. For a second. Now you can roll to your right side, hips and you know, right hip, right shoulder on the ground. Unless you've got an injury on that side, then you can roll to the other side. You don't want to put any pressure on a bad shoulder. Knees are in, head is down, hanging out. <clears throat> first and I have a couple things to say. You can put your hands in lotus, right? Index finger thumbs, nice and tall here, or in your lap or in prayer, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go lotus. God, my hips feel better today. Unbelievable. That stuff works. Big, giant ohm. If you're leaving the room because of the ohm, because it's weird and new and strange, then you're going to miss out, all right? You've committed this far, you might as well go all the way, right? What the heck? It's just a form of meditation, right? It really strengthens your voice. As you get older, you know how old people talk. Uh, it's because they're never doing homes, they're not deep breathing, they're not doing their yoga. <clears throat> so this is just good for you. So let's do it. I'm going to go long, I'm going to go loud. No screaming, no singing. Do it from down here, the diaphragm, don't be afraid. Mouth wide open. If your mouth is like this, you can't do it. It's got to be open. Loosen up that jaw. <clears throat> All right, enough instruction. Let's go. Inhale big. Let it go. Mm -hmm. All right, kids, all 195 of you, I want to just say thank you so very, very much. Um, yeah, I, I uh, man, that, that was, uh, I'm a loss for words. How crazy is that? Um, look, I'm down in the hole. You can see me. Wait a minute. Making adjustments. There I am. The bright, shiny face. That's too much, too much. And off? I don't know. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, that really, really means a lot to me. You know, my yoga practice is now more consistent than ever because of you guys. Because Saturdays is when I usually do it, but sometimes when I'm so beat up from the, from the week before, and both yoga classes that I go to on Saturdays, one's at 9 a.m., Ted McDonald's. And by the way, Ted is teaching yoga. Um, Ted McDonald, you know him, he's a floater. Always has been. Uh, he's teaching now six days a week. So he's at 9 o'clock, so hopefully you can find him. I'm going to put a post up very soon on this fan page, and you guys will get all that intel. So if this 11 o'clock thing on Saturdays is not enough or it's too late in the day, you've got Teddy Boy. That's announcement number one. And number two is 
Uh, lots of really amazing positive feedback about the use of double time. Uh, I want to thank Carl Deichler and the folks at Beachbody for being able to uh, put that up for everybody for free. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to sign in. You don't have to do anything. It's on Vimeo. You just go and do it. And all the double time workouts are there and they're just a blast. So you can do it with your family, your kids, your cats, your dogs, your turtle. I don't know. The turtle probably can't, isn't good at grabbing the ball very much. Um, so there's that. Also, too, a lot of people have been asking me about my supplements. I don't usually want to come in here and, and do any kind of advertising. Um, you know, if you're interested, uh, there's plant-based proteins, whey proteins, and, and Foundation 4. Uh, Foundation 4 has got two servings of vegetables, and it's loaded with all kinds of goodies. Um, and uh, you can go to mypowerlife.com if you want to check that out. Uh, well, of, of course, Bod, you guys are using it like crazy. We're having more. We have, we're breaking download records uh, left and right, which just says that you guys are starting to really care about yourself. Of course, there's Next Level as well on Guy M TV Fit and Yoga. And there's different ways to access that as well. The goal here is to make sure that you're moving almost every single day. I mean, it's, it's, it's five is the absolute minimum, you know, because we don't know how long this thing's going to go on. It just seems like it's never going to freaking end. And so there's only a few things that we can do to really keep our head on straight and take care of ourselves. And, and it's all about our immune system, right? This whole thing. Hydration is immune system. Diet is immune system. Lack of alcohol, lack of sugar, that's going to improve your immune system. You know, they're, they're discovering that there are certain categories of people that are really, really having difficulties with this disease because of hypertension, high blood pressure, um, type 2 diabetes, and especially obesity. People who are overweight are, are really getting creamed, man. So if you've got somebody in your life and if, and if you know, they're, they're, have, they're unscathed so far, but they're you know, they're on the brink, you know, even people that are pre-diabetic are really getting crushed by this thing. So you know, the only thing we can do are the two things that we control, and that is what we put in our mouth and how often we move. And we've got to, got to do it. This is no longer a luxury, okay? We've got the time, most of us, right? It's not like we have to rush off to work and we got other things going on. A lot of people are stuck at home. And I know it's a freak out. The finances are crazy. I mean, you know, we're all worried about you know, my lack of income is, right? And so it's not like I'm getting paid to be here with you guys. I just have to do this because I need to be with you guys. It's pretty much that simple. So access any and all forms of fitness that you can. Really focus on the mindfulness, right? The deep breathing. I mean, if, if prayer is something that, that, you, that you get a ton out of, then you must do it. Meditation, if, if you're maybe somebody who's, mm, I don't really pray, I'm not really a meditator, then you might want to look into it, man, because meditation is just sitting down, or laying down, or whatever, and taking deep breaths and clearing out your mind. Those deep breaths are therapeutic, and they're cleansing, and they're actually good for you. Um, and if you want to read a book, read John Rady's book, Spark. He talks all about not only mindfulness practice, deep breathing, cardiovascular, but also the importance of resistance exercises as a, as a means to strengthen your immune system, right? So, you know, I had that Ramsey Hunt in 2017, and now I've got bilateral vestibular hypofunction. And it's, it's a pain in the ass, man. You know what I mean? And so, am I immune compromised? I might be. Sean is back! Da 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 da. Oh, look at, honey, show them the beautiful dogs. So, that's, you know, I didn't want to preach too long. I just want you guys all to be safe and sound and get through this thing and, and be warriors in the midst of this, this kookiness. You know what I mean? And so, and to do that, it is, it's get off the freaking booze, man. It is terrible. Get off the sugar. Look at the heart. <laughs> That's Teddy right there. Yes. I, I wonder if I'm sweaty. Teddy, you missed a spot. Yeah. You missed a spot. You're right there. Rock, 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 rock. There you go. Right in my ear. Nice. Oh, he's a love boy. He's a love boy, that boy. Is Charlie in getting the mix of... There's Lola. Lola's scared now. There's Lola. There's, here's Lola, who looks a lot like Teddy, but a little different. Right? She's kind of the Marty Feldman of the dog family. If you don't know who Marty Feldman is, you're going to have to Google him. What you doing, Schmoles? What's the schmoly doing? This is the schmoles right here. So we got Ted the Fred. He's Teddy, but we call him Ted the Fred. This is Lola Schmoles. Don't know why. And of course, there's Charles Bear. And, uh, you know, without these three little nuggets, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, she smells good. Oh, she smells like a million dollars, this little one right here. Mm. Puppy kisses are the best. You got that right. My dog is snoring, Angie. Nice. <laughs> Scotty Morgan. Yeah, man. Spark by John Rady. Thank you for saying that. You know, so John Rady's book is all about the effects of physical activity on your brain. And it's, it's cognition, it's memory, and it's sex drive, it's, it's productivity, it's optimism over pessimism. It's basically what we just did was miracle grow 
for our for our hippocampus, for our temporal lobe, for our, our dentate gyrus. Our dentate gyrus. You got that right. How many times have you heard me all say that? Like 455 <laughs> billion times. But when you learn something and you know it's true based on science and it's a fact, and when you practice it, it works, you think to yourself, why wouldn't I do that at least five, six, seven days a week? You know what I mean? We're going through tough times too. We freak out as well. You know what I mean? I mean, we have, our, we have scoured the house just purely based on general nervousness. You know what I mean? Except, you know, I think I missed that corner over there in the gym. The gym is my responsibility. So again, thank you. Honey, I'm going to ask you right now. I'm going to put you on the spot. When is our next dance party? Uh, I thought dance parties were Thursdays. Thursdays. All right. Thursdays. I mean, I, I think it should be Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's just me. But Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's, that's a lot of me. Is that? <laughs> I'll do a solo. I'll do a solo. Hey, what if I taught a mind class? You guys want to learn mind? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw that at you guys. Walk in the wind, do the box, do the rope. Whoa. You know, Whatever. <laughs> Hanging out, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. Imagine. How, many, how many future mimes do we have out there? Any future mimes? Let's see. Put, up, put up a face. Up. Future, the old. There we go. See that mime? Very exciting. By the way, many of you know that's how I made a living for on and off. That's how I fed myself. If you read my book, you know that I ran out of money and my parents wouldn't send me anymore. And I was out in California and they were saying, come back to Connecticut. And I said, no, I don't want to do it. So I put on my mime makeup. My little outfit, my hat, I go down to the Santa Monica Pier, I go to Westwood where you see it, and I put that hat on the ground, and I would perform for food. And you know what it's like to perform for food as opposed to being on a stage and it's a lot of fun? You're sitting there waiting for nickels, dimes, and quarters, and dollar bills to add up to $25. So you can go to a corner liquor store and pick up some Cheerios and yogurt, and I lived on that for three days. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah, Tony, you're, you're all fancy. and you Yeah, really? 46 years of poverty, okay, before I got to this. And uh, we made a little something called P90X and X2 and X3, and you guys bought it and you saved my life. You saved my life. And so that's why I'm here for you guys, right here, right now. Dance parties, plyo, yoga. Man, I feel better today. And here's the amazing yeah, thing. I got sweaty or I did not crack a I know, at all. Dude, I am. Yeah, anyway, it's uh, the one thing about yoga, and it's hard, but it has. The balance component, the flexibility component, the strength component, and of course, what I think is the most important one is the mindful com uh, component. Because a lot of people can't just sit and meditate. So this is a moving meditation. It has four things in one. And this Tuesday will be the mindful component. Oh, oh. Right, they can't even see you, Mom. I'm just looking at your... Where are you? All right, there she is. Look at... That's my wife. I don't know where to sit. Oh, here, sit here. Sit here, and I'll, I'll switch over. Can you sit there? Right there. All right, there we are. There are the Hortons. There's the Hortons. Ooh, this is not the most comfortable place No, it's sit. not. It's, it digs in your butt. There are the Hortons. There's half of you and half of me. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, oh, we're up to 205. That's, that's nice. People are still hanging around. Um, Glenn, hello. Nicole, Mike, Dan, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Uh, I tell you, last night I was in bed like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do the yoga because I did one hour straight of cardio. I think some of you guys, and I mentioned that, I did uh, a jump rope, bike, versa climber, that's fun, and a treadmill. Two minutes per, I went around, two minutes, two minutes, right? Two minutes, one, two minutes, the next one. For one hour, I burnt 537 calories. And like I said, not too bad for an old guy. And I was sopping wet, and I was so trashy, and I thought, I don't know if I can do yoga today, but I did, because you and I, we had a commitment, all right? <laughs> Variety, intensity, consistency, making a plan, keep that up, rock and roll, boys and girls. Any last words, Mrs. H? No. No? I got nothing. Sorry. Mm, it's all right. You don't have to. I got more than enough. Okay. Yeah. All right, kids. Uh, again, thank you very, very, very much. Today being Saturday, Sunday off, I'm going to go come in here and do my all by myself Sunday insanity. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to make it insane. Juan? You better, first the climber is torture, you were correct. <laughs> um, and then um, Monday, Monday is, uh, yes, we've got Sunday and Monday off, everybody. Maybe I'll come in here and do a little something on, on Tuesday, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Greg McCann, how's your lovely wife, dude? Hopefully she's fine and great, and you guys are getting by all right. I'm thinking about you. Uh, again, everybody, thank you so very much. We love you. Do the right thing. Wash the living crap out of your hands. Stay away from strangers. And... Um, and we're all gonna we're gonna we're gonna grow from this. It's, it's gonna make brunch. us. It's gonna be brunch. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. I know. We're gonna get we're gonna get better from this thing. As human beings, 
You know what I mean? What you discover when something like this happens is bad people go that way, or I should say that way, and good people are better. So let's do this. Tony Horton and Shauna Horton. Over and out. <laughs>